What if I told you games got too good to be fun? We have been over a decade and a half of MMOs trying to outdo World of Warcraft, multiplying the budgets for each project every year and consistently, time and time again. They fail to get even a fraction of the WoW player base. When I was a child one time, my mother was talking to a friend of hers and her friend said, and I crap you not, I don't get why my son is getting bullied, he has a PS3 and everything. To me that sounds a lot like, I don't get why people don't play it Wildstar, the graphics and the combat are excellent, it's the same damn thing, it doesn't matter, that's not the problem. Have you ever stopped and wondered, what makes an MMO successful? An MMO is at its core, an alternative world where we hang out, a <coughs> metaverse. If you will. Alright, right, right, right. Hey, hear me out. The main appeal of an MMO is the idea of a world where you exist around all the other people in it. How many of you guys quit an MMO just because your friends stop playing? At least me, I did a lot. An MMO will never have the strategic combat of a MOBA or the flashiness of an FPS. And that's because whenever it does, it comes with so many compromises to the concept of an MMO, it will become retail wow. What is retail wow, really? But a dungeon combat game by now, your only value as a player is your DPS numbers and your mechanical skills. No longer do you have to go out in the world and create deep relationships with people to get ahead. The quote unquote world is reduced to whatever the queue takes you, and your entire social life in game is reduced to voice chat in your heroic and mythic raids if you are bothered to raid at all. And while for a game like League of Legends when you focus on combat and skill that is perfectly fine, when you do that in an MMO, the concept of a world simply doesn't work anymore. Gonna drop a big shocker right here. Most players of any game are not good. Even if they were good, there's always gonna be a skill disparity that gets wider as the combat gets more complex and hard paced. If you wanna succeed in a game like that, you simply do not surround yourself with people you like. You don't surround yourself with the boys, screw the boys! They do 10% less DPS, get to a log website and find the most degenerate parsers in the earth to play with. Slowly over time you realize that you're not hanging out with your friends anymore and the fun is gone. The bosses go down though, and I get it, I get it, you don't want your game to be as easy as Wrath of the Lich King Heroics, you do want the ability to lose in a game. I am just saying that your success in the game should not be measured by your skill in combat as much as in your social skills, strategy and time investment in an MMO. You can make an argument that focusing on combat makes the game more Fair, which is true, but we have proven time and time again that every time an MMO focuses on combat, every other aspect of the game suffers. Another problem with this combat-centric style of MMO is something Terra players will understand right away. If you don't leave them near next to the damn server, internet latency makes the gameplay Suck. Again, League of Legends or Counter Strike, they are also this way, but they have such a massive player base that they are able to set up servers all over the world, so no matter where you are, you are near one of them. But even if an MMO got to the size where that was possible, there is yet another problem. Most MMO players have friends all over the world. Me personally, I am in South America, yet most of my in game friends are from the EU and NA. I can play WoW with them just just fine, but I simply cannot play games like League with them. And that is because of the lag, which is fine, because those games do not rely on social aspects to be fun, but an MMO does. There is also a second reason why next gen MMOs suck, and this might sound actually a little strange. The graphics are too damn good! World of Warcraft, RuneScape, Counter-Strike GO, Fortnite, League of Legends, these are all widely successful games, but what do they have in common? They are all designed to run on low-end PCs just fine. Oh yeah, New World looks cool and all, and all the trailers are always flashy, but to get to these graphics, a huge sacrifice had to be made. A lot of the PC market simply cannot run the game straight up. Even back in 2004, World of Warcraft could run on a toaster. If you talk to your friend about the game and they wanted to check it out, there was a 
very high chance they had a computer in their house that could run it. It's like the console wars all over again. How many times did you want to play a game with your friend but they had an Xbox and you had a PlayStation and you couldn't? It's the same thing. The other problem with high fidelity graphics is a behind the scenes one. It's ridiculously expensive to make a game that looks like that. You need photogrammetry, you need thousands of men hours just to draw a damn rack, an expensive motion capture for all the animations and every time you wanna add something new to the game, as small as it may be, it will have to go through hundreds of employees just to keep the graphic fidelity. Do you wonder why so many corners are always cut to release a modern AAA game? Well, look no further than graphics. So much of the budget is spent on making graphics look so flashy that the other aspects of the game, like the content or the class design or balance, have always to get cut back. Would you be any more likely to play World of Warcraft if they remade the entire game in Unreal Engine like all those weird trailer videos show? Be honest with yourself, probably not. I personally think that modern World of Warcraft looks just fine. Granted, if you make a game too ugly, that is a problem, but in my opinion, a game should just look good enough anymore and compromises are gonna have to be made. Simply put, I think modern MMOs are too bloated and they focus on things that do not improve the experience. I see a lot of MMOs trying to copy retail WoW and they fail to realize that Vanilla WoW was the game that hooked that generation into it. Just make a Vanilla WoW rip of man, I am so damn hopeless by now with the MMO scene that that's all it's gonna take to make me happy, just come on man, somebody do it. Tell me in the comments, did you try any modern MMOs, New World, Lost Ark and how did you feel feel about them and also if you like the video please subscribe and hit the notification bell for we got a lot more coming leave a like and thank you so much for watching homeboys